5.05 .05 in the morning. It's a perfect day for a Disney cruise. Off we go for a Disney cruise adventure. Let's do it. Okay, bags are checked in. Now I'm making my way through security and then we'll be on our way to the flight. And just like that, made it through security. Let's find out which gate I'm going to. B13, let's make our way. You can tell I'm excited. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Also tempted by Starbucks. I might be coming back here. You can see I have my Waves of Disney sweatshirt on. Ready to go. I'm gonna be on the cruise in a minute. Don't need this. Okay, this is my gate, but I'm, I'm so excited. I'm not even hungry. Have you ever been so excited for something? You're not even hungry or thirsty. Like, usually I'd go to Starbucks or Auntie Anne's, but this time, just too excited to eat or drink anything. You can see it's bright and early. Take a look at the sunrise behind me. It is no doubt going to be an absolutely magical day. I couldn't sit still, I'm just meandering around the airport now. I'm so excited. 15 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go sit in that area. Okay, here we go. We're all in the gateway, off for an adventure. In my seat, ready for the flight. Got the emergency exit row, which is really nice because I get the extra foot right behind. Just there. We made it. Made it. Back in Orlando International Airport, I'm so glad to be here, but now it's kind of weird for me. I have to wait for my brother. I don't mind waiting, but it's about 45 minutes off to be in the airport, just hanging around waiting for him. Okay, I am at gate 103 now. I have to make my way to gate 120 to find David and welcome him to Orlando. I'm gonna get on that tram very, very soon, but making my way now to gate 120 to find David. I found it, gate 120 is right here. This is where David will arrive. So I will be right here. I'll be able to see his plane make its way to the terminal, but now I'm gonna explore a little bit, maybe maybe get food, I'm not that hungry. I might wait on the food idea, but he'll be here before you know it. I'm just so excited. I can't even explain it to you. I am just so, so excited. Now there's no food in the terminal for the Disney Cruise Line, so that's why I'm really thinking about it. Do I wanna get a sandwich or something just so that we have something? Maybe I'll ask David when he lands if he's hungry and we'll see if we want something or if we can probably wait until we get on the ship. We'll see, we'll, we'll see. Now before David arrives on this flight, I wanna get him something special to start off the trip and surprise him with it. So I'm here at Starbucks, I'm gonna get a hot chocolate for him. I feel like he's gonna love it. It'd be perfect for me as well. It took me 15 minutes to get through the Starbucks line. That's a long line, but David's flight thankfully has not landed yet. So I'm in good shape, just waiting for his hot chocolate. I'll surprise him with it. I just got a text from David telling me he was on the ground. No plane there and still no Starbucks. Just watching both. Uh, I think this is him. I think this is David. David has officially arrived. The suspense is overwhelming. I want to see my brother. Any moment now David's going to step out of that door and we're gonna start our cruise adventure. Now this cruise was booked a while ago and we were thinking all about going on a vacation together. We really are looking forward to it. But just a few days ago, not that long ago, David told me, and he said it was okay to tell you, that he got a brand new job and he accepted it. So this is this is like a two-fold celebration. We're celebrating being together and vacation and being you know brothers and all that, but also David's brand new job. So there's a lot to be celebrating, so much magic to be had ahead of us as soon as he walks outside that door. Any minute now. Not David, not David. David. Not David, not David, not David. Not yet. He must be further back on the plane. There he is, there he is, right there, David. There he is. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back, David. Are you excited? Got your, got your hot chocolate right here. Thank you very much. David, what do you think about your hot chocolate? So good. Are you excited for this seven night adventure? Woo! Let's do it. We're gonna we're yeah. so excited. Cruise, 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 cruise. What are you looking forward to most? Um, Sleepy. <laughs> right now? Yeah, yeah, right now maybe. We woke up early for these flights, but it's gonna be magical. <laughs> Sunrise tomorrow though, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's, should we do, uh, do you want to stop at the uh, airport first? Do you want to do straight to the cruise sure, line? Sure, Let's walk through. Fine. We're going to walk through the airport. Check out the new branding of these boxes here. That's cool. We're sharing stories, saying how good it is to see each other, and now we're making our way toward the Disney Cruise Line Magical Express, which is right down that hallway. Okay, we are all set, drank our coffee, used the restroom, and now we are on our way to the Disney Cruise Line Magical Express. David is over there. Getting excited. You ready for this? Are you sure you're ready for this? Can you handle the excitement? No. 
I think you can handle it. And here we are, Disney's Magical Express Cruise Line Edition. Okay, we're all checked in and we're waiting for the Chip and Dale bus, which should be leaving here any minute now, so that'll be really good. Next time I have to remember to bring the oh, spiral yeah. uh, booklet. I packed that away in my checked luggage, should have thought to bring it, but they were able to clear us through, no problem. Just things to remember for the future. B42 is where we are going on the Chip and Dale bus, Disney Cruise Line. Let's do it. Seven nights. <laughs> Cruise bro, cruise bro, cruise bro. You feel some of it, but you don't you feel, don't it feel the whole the whole wave of Disney yeah. until we like we you step on the Magical Express, it's another thing, and then you right. step, you see the boat, another right. thing. It's amazing. Now to give you some background, if you do forget your spiral notebook and your check bag like I did and didn't read, I should have read, but that's okay. They can take care of it, no problem. It was so easy, they just did something else, they tucked in a few extra numbers and it was fine. As long as you're able to get that reservation confirmation number, I got it through my phone, no problem. You'll be okay, but I recommend bringing that spiral notebook and you'll be in good shape. Now we haven't seen our luggage get on this uh, bus next to us. We looked outside, there was nothing in there from us that we could see, but we've trusted Disney's Magical Express for years, so it's been no problem. I'm sure it will be no problem again. Invite you to enjoy beautiful tropical weather and an the, the third one is still surprised. Beach, complete with massage I haven't told the, and I haven't told the, the third one is Families surprised. Yeah, Dave and I were just talking about how it's still like it's these new waves of Disney that we're feeling like, over and over again. Like, you step on the plane, you step on the Magical Express, it's just a whole new wave of Disney. Pretty intense, right? Oh yeah. Can't wait. I'm forward to feeling the, the real Disney experience on the boat. It's gonna be amazing. The very top of the Ten bridge, minutes. if you look straight ahead so along the tree lock there, you see anything jumping around, it's probably a few dolphins. So there is, it's right there. <laughs> yeah! All right. We're talking about David's new job and the fact that he's so excited that he doesn't go back to the old job. He gets to go and experience a brand new job after this. It's a celebration of so many things. I cannot wait. Now we just have to get off the bus. Let's go. Stay in here. I'll, I'll wait. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Enjoy Thank yourself. You're Thank welcome. you so much. We're here at Fort Canaveral. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. The Disney Wonder is right there. Let's go through security and then we're going to get on board. Feel those waves of Disney. How about you, David? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, they are on check in. Num they're group number 10 right now, so we are right on time. We're actually relatively early. Time is now 12 10, so we're in good shape. We're going to get checked in and be on our way. Castaway Club check in. Here we go. No, no. We are part of the Castaway Club now. David and I are getting all checked in. We're really, really excited. We're about to meet Captain Mickey or Minnie, and our uh, we're group 15, so we'll be there in a minute. But there has been an itinerary change. Take a look. We are no longer going to St. Martin due to weather, and that means that all the excursions for St. Martin, that's mystery one, was at St. Martin, is no longer happening. Instead, are you ready for this? Instead, we're going to, David, you want, you want to tell him? Castaway Key. We're going to Castaway Key twice. Two times on this cruise. Cannot tell you how happy I'm with that. We'll go to St. Martin some other time, but it's a two time Castaway Key adventure. Two crew, two stop Castaway Key adventure. Beyond excited. Hey, Mickey, how are you? Good to see you. I'm very excited. Two stops at Castaway Key. I am beyond excited for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. In a few moments, we're going to be stepping through these mouse ears, as you can see right here. But first, we're going to go out into the viewing deck and take a look at the ship. We're going to call home for the next eight days. Home sweet home for the next eight days. All right, I think they've probably called our number by now. We're number 15, let's head on inside. Just now. Let's do it, let's board. I like to cruise it, cruise it. You like to cruise it, cruise it. We like to cruise it. Come on up. Here we go. Are you ready for this, David? Yes. Let's do a hand sanitizer, a must before a cruise, of course. All right, about to step on board. You gotta touch the outside. Yes, here we go. Disney Wonder, please welcome aboard the K family. Thank you very much. Woo. So excited. Look at this ship. Family. Take a look. You got the aerial sculpture right in here. We'll walk all around a little bit later, but we're going to try and get to that lunch uh, that should be around here somewhere. I'm going to find out. We were trying to get into Triton's here right next to Ariel, but we it's, right, it's full right now. So instead, we're going to go upstairs, go to the buffet, and then we're going to be able to explore just a little bit more. It's, it's so exciting, but those first moments, you got to kind of take it all in, and then we'll be on our way. David, wait. We're doing stairs already. David's in better shape than I am. Eight days of fun in the sun and double castaway key. Uh, this is how David stays in shape. Welcome aboard! Yeah! 
Yay! It feels amazing. Oh my gosh, the Disney wonder. All right. Here's the uh, kids pool and kids slide. Okay, this is the start of the line. We're going into, it's called Cabanas. Thank you, hi there. David and I made it. It is very windy, if you can't tell. That's why we have a lot of the outside deck to ourselves, but it's not too windy for us. We're having a great time. We've got some lunch here. We've got steak and chicken nuggets and fries and some cotton. We're gonna go back for even more food, but we are on board and feeling unbelievably amazing. Now, the Castaway Key double adventure. Those trips usually cost more money. So for me, I'm just like, I'm fine with that. I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to experience Castaway Key twice. I've only been once ever. So be able to do it twice on one trip. Beyond, beyond excited about it. We'll get to St. Martin again in the future. I have no doubt about it. Welcome aboard, David. Yeah. Off for an adventure. They have all sorts of great stuff. I want to give you a very quick tour. You can see these stone crab claws right over there. I'm about to try them. They've got the shrimp area, the seafood section. They've got the uh, the, the meat section here. They're cutting. They've got all sorts of food. Food that you can't even imagine for, for lunch. They have tons of it. There's the, uh, the pad thai noodles and the chicken and vegetable fried rice. There are so many great things. And we haven't even gotten to dessert yet, so we'll come back for that. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. We're getting to round two right now. We moved inside because it is a little cold, a little windy, but wow, so far amazing. Take a look at round two here. We got the fried rice, the chicken, and the vegetable right there, the fried noodles, shrimp, and stone crab claws, which I cannot wait to try and tell you how they are. David found the guava juice. Wow, that's good. Wow, that is good. Wow, wow. Okay, we're just about finishing up with lunch, but I'm gonna have dessert now and I wanna try a Mickey ice cream bar. So they didn't have the Mickey bar available right now. They're still getting them ready. I'll be able to have one later. Don't you worry. I will definitely be getting one of this cruise. So I have the chocolate marquee, which I'm going to give a try. Must the, try. It's 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 like dark, deep chocolate. So good. You got to try that one. That's, the, that's one of the best. Just finished a fantastic lunch. Now we're going to make our way down to deck three and get to that excursion desk so we can book a few activities or see what's available anyway for our second or well, first of two Castaway Key days. One thing David and I are noticing right away is the elevator is much smaller on the uh, the Wonder. Not a bad thing. It's just uh, different. Different. This is Promenade Refreshments, one of the uh, one of the bar lounge area. We'll have to check this out later. Here's Triton's where we will be eating later on on the cruise. I think that's third, the third place we'll be eating. Now we're gonna go find our room now, drop a few bags off, and then we're gonna try and switch our port adventures a little bit so we can do the parasailing on one day and the jet skis on another day. That was David's smart idea. So that way we're able to experience more of it and kind of space them out a little bit. It's gonna be perfect. Fish extenders, next time we'll do fish extenders. And we're in. There you go, wow. We got our Castaway Club member, Silver Level, gift. Very cool. I like this bag. Yeah. I agree. This, it feels like there's more room in this stateroom. This is great. This is our Porthole Ocean View stateroom. It really looks great. Let me give you a full tour of the whole thing. At first, let's start with the entrance as we walk the front door. Front door, and then over here to our left, we have some life vests, place for hanging up clothes over there, a few cabinets over here, along with a safe and some hangers. To your right over here, you have one of two bathrooms. I love the split bathroom idea. And you can see we have the mirror right here, sink right there, some soap. You have a, uh, I think this is a hair dryer. And then over here, some uh, small shelves and towels. And then the other side, there's a, a separate bathroom so that we can get ready at the same time. So here's the second bathroom right here. We've got our two soaps right there, towels, sink, and a shower. Oh, look, she looks like a shower bath combo there. That is pretty cool. Now we have this cabinet right here with a couple of these really big drawers right here. They're deeper than you would expect. Picture of Walt and his wife right there along with these glasses. Then over here we have the master bed, our castaway club gift. We've got to get David one of those. We have our mirror over there, some lights over here, a, a, a clock right there, along with some shelves right here, and a really cool Pirates of the Caribbean sketch. I like that one. Then we have this curtain here that separates one side from the other. We've got a phone right there. Here's David on the couch right here. Table right there. Here's our portal. Take a look outside. Then we have another mirror right here, along with some more small uh, storage areas. These are our tickets for the excursions that we'll be doing. We might change those up a little bit. And some more shelving units right there. So there's a lot of things to put away. And oh, there, wait, there's a small fridge right there as well. I think it comes empty. I'm pretty sure it comes empty where you can put food inside or ice cream. You know, we might have some ice cream treats that we want to keep for later. So that's where it would be. But wow, this is a great room. Okay, we're back out of our room and now we're going back to the uh, uh, Port Adventures desk and guest services to get connected to the Wi-Fi, get everything all set, and then we'll be on our way. We'll probably go do some uh, looking around too and see the Oceaneers Club since it's probably Probably an open house. Maybe get some ice cream. It's gonna be great. We're trying to get into the uh, Oceaneer Club just for 
an open house. You can see the line is very long this time of day. It is 2.30 now, so we're hopefully gonna get in there and see some Marvel excitement. We're in the Ocean Youth Club. Oh my gosh, oh wow, there's a lot, lot of people here. See you later. There's Timon. Check out the Marvel area. Michelle, this is for you. Take a look at the Falcon wingsuit, Captain America's shield, Ant-Man's helmet, Iron Man's helmet. A lot of cool things here. You can see this whole place is perfectly themed. Even the lights are changing. And over here you can see the lockers of the uh, Avengers right here. <laughs> it's really cool. A little bit crowded during this open house, but I want to look all around. Wandering <laughs> Oaken here. Happy summer snow day from me to you. Big summer blowout. Look at that thing. The attention to detail is amazing. This is Andy's room for kids to play around in there. You can see it's a big, uh, basically a huge jungle gym in there. All right, Dave, what did you think of the Oceaneer Club? Awesome. Very was, cool. Very cool. Michelle, you would have loved the Marvel area, but now we're headed to Edge. Take a look at the uh, the next open house. Now, this is Edge, which is more of the, uh, the tweens or teens club. Pretty cool. This is Quiet Cove, which is more of the adult area, including a few jacuzzis, which I see are currently in use still. A lot of people are already out here. And the, uh, the pool area, adult-only pool as well. Looks uh, pretty nice. Here we are on deck 10, which is on top of the ship. You can see the basketball court over here, which is where we are making our way right now. But take a look. Beautiful view of Port Canaveral. We're saying goodbye in just a few hours. Check out the basketball area over here. We have one for younger kids and one for older kids. We're gonna try it again when it's a little less windy. Let's go check out Vibe. This is the Vibe Lounge right here. Take a look all around here. And I can actually see Guitar Hero right in there. Check out Guitar Hero right here, David. Okay, can you beat me? Yeah. Does it Yes. Oh my god. Yes, oh you, David smashed me. David won by, by a lot, by a lot. Uh, like a ton. David beat me by so much. David has kindly agreed to a rematch so that I can try, try and face whatever skills he has clearly obtained when he's been away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. David is the clear winner. <laughs> 27,000 versus 47,000. Yeah, yeah close. clear winner. This is Cove Cafe where we can sit back, relax, get some coffee, maybe some pastries. We might come here a little bit later, but it's also a really nice place to have a nice, quiet moment where you can see where we are on this map right here. It's pretty cool. Okay, we did a lot of our touring around, saw Vibe, saw Edge, saw Cove Cafe. Now we're gonna grab, grab some ice cream, go to our room, get our luggage all set, maybe unpack a little bit, then go to the emergency safety drill, and then we'll probably spend some time in the pool, but uh, we'll let you know. We're gonna play it by ear and have a lot of fun. Dave, what do you think? Awesome, delicious. What do you think, Mikey? Super. So apparently they don't have the banana strawberry ready yet, and so there's just vanilla and chocolate, but let me tell you, some of the best vanilla ice cream around. It's just so good. Okay, I see our luggage right outside our room. We're gonna get things organized, maybe unpack just a little bit, and then we'll be on our way. Well, David's luggage made it. Mine didn't make it yet. So not all of the luggage has been delivered yet. David's made it, but mine didn't. Hopefully we'll see mine very soon, but now it's time for the safety drill. So I'm gonna put the camera down, go and pay close attention to the safety drill, and then come back and we'll continue the adventure. So we found out that the safety drill was a little bit later. We were 30 minutes early, which is not a bad thing. We went to get services to check on that Silver Castaway Club member bag, but apparently there's only one per room, not per so a silver club member guess. So we'll, uh, we'll get one for David next time. 15 minutes to go and one of the two bags that I brought has made it. 
Uh, it's not the bag with all the clothes in it. We were hoping to change before the drill. Okay, we're headed off for Adventures Away. Okay, we're ready to sail yeah. away. We're gonna do it. Time to celebrate. Dancing away. I love that sailing away party. That was just so much fun. The adult quiet cove area where you have live entertainment going as you're enjoying the pool here. David's gonna test the water for me and let me know because my luggage wasn't there. So we're gonna go back and change to join him. I think he likes it. We just saw sailing away. It was fantastic. Saw Mickey got to say hi. He was waving and Minnie was waving. Oh, it was love. I loved it. It was amazing. Now I'm going back to the room to change. Hopefully my luggage is there at this point and we are officially sailing away. I'm going to join David in the hot tub and then we'll just see what uh, what comes for today. It is the first day of our adventure and already experiencing magic just around every turn. Last time we were on the Disney cruise, we stayed midships, which was really, really nice and convenient. This time we're staying aft. And so, I mean, like as far back as you can go, the end of the hallway, all the way at the end, very furthest back you can be. Uh, and I see my luggage out there, so that's a good thing. So far, I've noticed that it's a little bit further to walk. You know, it's something to consider, but keep in mind, if you're doing something near the aft and you want to come back, it's even more convenient. So there are a lot of advantages. Take a look outside. We are moving away on the Disney Wonder. I am so glad to be here, being able to share with you. I'm gonna switch out the camera now so I can join David in the hot tub. I'm gonna go for the jacuzzi. Ready? Here we go. I tested that GoPro about a dozen times and sure enough, it's out of battery. Both batteries are dead right now. So that's okay. I'll do a little bit of vlogging with my phone while we're in the hot tub. It's still gonna be magical. Moving and it has never felt so good. In the hot tub, it's not nearly as bad because we're immersed in water, but I have a feeling as soon as we step on the deck, we're gonna really feel the lift back and forth. The captain did warn us that the seas were gonna be a little bit choppy because we have that storm that's kind of around, but it shouldn't interfere with the magic at all. David and I ordered a little snack. We're gonna take it back to the room, eat a little bit, and then we're gonna make our way to Be Our Guest, which is a stage show happening in the Walt Disney Theater tonight. And then we have the Tritons later tonight, so it's gonna be good, but you can see we're still listing back and forth. Okay, got the camera after a quick snack, and now we're on our way to Be Our Guest, which is the show at 6.15 in Walt Disney Theater, first show of the adventure. <laughs> Do on this cruise. <laughs> And list to the right, and now list to the left. It's, it's like there's subtle differences. Subtle differences. We made it in time for Be Our Guest. It should start in about two minutes. Gonna be great. We just saw Be Our Guest. It was a really cool show. We saw ventriloquism, magic. It was just so cool to be able to experience more of what's happening. But you can see David and I, <coughs> wow. We're, we're, we're going back and forth a little bit here because it is uh, definitely listing back and forth. Wow. We, we gotta go in there later. Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna go meet Minnie now. Minnie, how are you? Good to see you, you're looking great. I cannot begin to tell you how glad I am I got the photo package. As you can see right here, they're doing some very special photos for us at this photo spot. It was worth it, it was worth it. $300 for the all digital package. We're getting a lot of photos here that we're gonna use for years to come. I am very happy with this decision, even on first half day of the cruise. Loving this. We just took several pictures and now we are headed into D Lounge over here. Uh, for a little bit of Mickey Mania, a little bit of trivia. Four, three, two, one. My name is Mickey Mania. 
is Natasha and welcoming you here to the most insane game show on the Disney Cruise Line. Which Disney film is the highest grossing animated film of all time? Frozen. Ooh, purple Pluto. Uh, frozen. Frozen? Could it be? Yes, it is! 50 points! Oh my goodness, we've got a whole show about it. Of course it is! Let it go! Let it go! Oh, it's beautiful! Okay, hey, tell us, who is the character? It's Flick. What? Oh, Flick. It then, is correct. It was right like there. so clear. Where are they going? Uh, send it to the red team. To the red team! 50 points! All right. That was a lot of fun. Now we're off to dinner. Let's do it, David. We just like all like flew in one direction because there was an amazing amount of roll on the ship. But I think, oh, there's Belle. Can we do a meet and greet with Belle? Hi, Belle, you're looking great. Are you enjoying the cruise? Yes. Have you had, tried anything good in the food section? Go to Triton soon. Yes. Yeah, okay. have to look for the great stuff, though. It I, is delicious. I will have to look for it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Great <laughs> suggestion. I'll keep an eye out for it. Thank you very much. Love those random character interactions. That's the first one for me on a Disney cruise. Welcome to Triton's. The menu at Triton's looks absolutely delicious. I'm gonna get the deep fried brie and the steak. I was tired. <laughs> we're, we're a little bit tired. We'll be able to go to sleep early, early after this. After this, we'll probably go to sleep and then we'll get up bright and early for Castaway Key tomorrow morning. We did not expect to do that. We've already changed our parasailing to tomorrow. So we're parasailing tomorrow and then we'll do our uh, jet skis on the next Castaway Key day. So it's gonna be amazing. Take a look at this deep fried debris, one of my all time favorites on the cruise ship and David has it as well. Bon appetit. Cheers. Really, really good. I feel like the fried brie on the dream was just a little bit better, but this is still delicious. Now I have the filet steak, and David has the duck breast. David, what do you think of yours? It's good. Pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. The steak is, I think, excellent. Excellent at Triton's. Definitely recommend it. The desserts look absolutely amazing. I'm going to try the Grand Marnier souffle. I got a personal recommendation from our server. Very good man. Now, David, what are you getting? The creme brulee. Uh, the other recommendation from our server. Sounds pretty good. First taste of the Grand Marnier souffle. Bon appetit. Oh wow, that is very, very good. It's a, you can taste a little bit more alcohol than I was expecting. I wasn't expecting that much alcohol. You know, I don't usually drink. But that's, that's extremely good. We're gonna have to check more of these after hours later, but we're planning on going to bed just a little bit earlier so that we can get up bright and early for Castaway Key tomorrow morning. Take a look at this place. Very, very interesting. A stage up here, a lot of seats, kind of a quieter seats back there. We're gonna have to try out this area a little later and see if there are any games to do. It looks really cool. Now we're gonna check out the Cadillac Lounge. What do you think, David? It's very nice. It's pretty cool. Very, very nice. Yeah. And let's take a look inside. We have a chess set, checkers, and I still forgot how to learn how to play this game. And the Oscar goes to... David and I have to try this later. Okay, well they told us that this uh, rolling back and forth is due to the storm. It's definitely more intense than the last cruise we were on. And they say it's more intense the closer to the forward you are and the further toward the aft you are. That has me a little concerned because our room is the furthest aft you can possibly be. Truly a beautiful ship at night. Everything's lit up, looks wonderful. David and I are now out on the outer deck, walking back and forth a little bit, enjoying the nighttime look at the sea. We're gonna get to bed a little bit early, we're gonna get something to drink, head to our room, and call it a night until Castaway Key tomorrow. A truly magical first day today, and tomorrow is a Castaway Key kind of day. Already so excited for the magic that's going to be coming tomorrow. We're going to get to bed bright and early so we can have a wonderful, truly wonderful day tomorrow. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.